Live, dude. That's fucking We're already crazy. arguing, dude. That's yes. Ridiculous. We're here with you fucked it. Hey. You fucked it. Shaner's in charge, by the way. I put Shaner in charge. Yeah, he just gave me the address and I fucking drove. Well, Shaner, it. he answered when I called. He's like, Shaner, you're in charge. I just got done fixing my toilet and I yep. saw you come up. That's why like, you're in charge, dude. I don't know why. I thought you had tattoos. Everyone thinks I have tattoos. You don't have any, right? Everyone thinks I have tattoos. No, no that one. reminds me. First order of business. Let's go. The Antifa bartender in Richmond reached out to me. What? <laughs> Woo! He said, He's not Antifa, and he thought it was funny, us criticizing him and mocking him. That's Antifa so, energy, dude. No, no. he. Oh, he genuinely thought it was funny. He was like, no, it was hilarious. I, thought he was, saying, I was like, dude, my bad. I thought he was saying, it's actually pretty funny to think that. No, no, no. <laughs> he said it was, he enjoyed it. And he said it was not, because I, I was like, oh, shit, my bad, dude. Yeah. And also, you know, there was also his side of the story. What was it? Which was them, end of the night, all of a sudden a guy comes in and says he's on Molly 15 times. <laughs> <laughs> so you know there's, there's that side of it but yeah remind me because you're a big industry you're like anti yeah. and if you weren't in comedy you'd be anti bartender no way you would be an anti have you, have you ever fucked around with anti babes fuck it. do you uh, like gritty anti babes yeah. fuck yeah do yeah. you like gritty What's the deal? mascot do i like would you gritty? get a gritty tattoo fuck no yeah you would with fuck a hammer and sickle no gritty? way dude no if i'm getting any <laughs> fucking thing crossing anything have you ever seen angola's flag that's the fuck yeah thing. so fucking i'm gonna throw shame. you one fascism or communism you have to pick one which one fascism or communism Fuck. You got to call me all the way, dude. <laughs> that's, you can't fucking curveball me like yeah, that, dude. Curveball. I hate that. I'm no. like, well, am I taking fashion over practicality here? Fuck me. Yeah. Uh, which one gets you more pussy is the question. <laughs> oh, which, uh, communism. Communism, gets, communism you gets you more pussy. Until. No, communism. No. no. True. Fashion. True. No, about? I don't know about that. You, Commun if you, you are, Today in Philadelphia, if you're on the online dating scene, communism will get you more oh, pussy. Yeah, but if you're a successful now, fascist, you'll get more yeah, pussy than that's just that's just, if you're successful at anything, you're going to get more pussy. Well, especially if it doesn't fascist. even matter who you are. That's true. But if you're the best fascist, you're getting pussy. If you're the sure. best communist, you're getting fucking slits. That's how it fucking works. There's <laughs> no way you're not. <laughs> Until <I'm slid> <laughs> I'm talking like a real fascist. Dude. <laughs> You like fascism. So you've taken down some Antifa babes. Yeah, definitely. What's their deal? What's their deal? Yeah, what, do they, what do they want? What do they what want? Do they, want? Yeah. they just want anybody to be open to anything. So you really? just fucking. How about a punch in the gut? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Compliments to the red, white, and blue. <laughs> How about, a punch? Drop the How about a punch bars, in their high-waisted dude? jean belly, dude? Yeah. Dude, it's like exactly. a lot they of knock them. it off with the high-waisted Dude, jeans. every girl dresses exactly the it's, same now in New York. I don't like the high-waisted jeans. Nobody they wear high waist Either wear dad jeans. They wear like the baggy dad yeah. jeans and like a... Well, it's because like it's that Billie Eilish fashion that everyone wants to dress like they're like... Is that what that is? Yeah, dude. That's that like, young chick? Yeah. Bringing back like uh, 90s baggy bullshit fashion. Cause that's what oh. they want. They just dress like. I, I want to. No I, I want to see their fucking ass. Yeah, dude. dude. Yeah, I want to see their flesh. Except not. I don't want to see their cheeks. I don't like that. I don't like the cheeks. What? what? I don't want to see that, dude. You don't like what? I want. I'm going to paint it on shorts that go down to the mid thigh. Are you? What? Yeah. I don't want to. Butt cheeks is just gratuitous. Are yeah. you fucking ridiculous, dude? There's no no one wears bras in New York. I noticed that. Yeah. No bras. That's what's up. I was talking to my brother about it. When you see that like, nipples like once every now and again, it's tight. When everyone's nipples are out, it's like. <laughs> dude, uh, I was just talking to Makiri about that on the way. Really? He was what? like a girl walked into Wawa, young, because I was uh, I've covered it before, but I was talking to him about how I joke about. Yeah. On here, like I, I want to fuck young girls. Of course. And then you realize young girls are. That's just because we're geezers now. Sure. We're all getting horny as hell for like, the what we should be, which is the hottest chicks on earth. Yeah. Like a twenty-four year old chick. Gotcha. That's all you gotta say. The perfect. That's all you gotta say. But now that I'm a geezer, I see them and I'm like, what's that? A fucking fifteen year old? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now she's a child. You have to be careful. And now all of a sudden, it's like I like hot children. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you gotta watch it. True. Gotta... But anyway, he said a girl, a young girl, walked into Wawa with her nipples out. It's just the McSkeever. McSkeever was in the a little horny. McKeever got instantly. He was like, "I got school shooter energy immediately." <laughs> I was like, "Dude, yeah, it's the same thing." If a hot girl walks in, I'm like, oh, if I can't have you, no one can, and I'll kill everybody for sure. 
For sure. You know? <laughs> yeah. He's going to be delighted I brought or, this up. That's, <laughs> that's, gonna smash. Yeah. that's, how, you, it, that's how you get them in. Like, that's how you get into like, like caging chicks. Mm-hmm. Like I don't even want, I don't get like phallically horny anymore. I just see a chick and I'm like, oh, you get. I just like, want to capture and detain. Yeah, you want chicks as cats. I just want to yeah, impossible one eat. day, or just like train, or just possibly capture, torture, or train. See, now psychologically you're, torture. I you're would never definitely fascist. Fish. Then, without a doubt, that's fascist. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I'm more like I'm more proto fascist. I don't know what you know about communism. I don't. They liked detaining. <laughs> True. Also. I mean, everybody likes detaining. Nah, comes fascists detaining will just chicks, execute. Fascists. If is, you're talking about uh, hot. communists, will just execute. True. To, yeah, true. Yeah, man. It might be the same thing. It's kind of the same thing. Pretty much the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> but everybody, when it comes down to like the nuts and bolts, everyone likes detaining chicks. It's the way it is. You want true. to detain them? You want to tie want them to up? Detain them? You just said everyone but does. Everyone, Are you not everyone? Yeah, dude. Are you not part of the crew? Beezer, <laughs> shut up, dude. I'm, I'm, like, I'm letting him ride this out. I'm like, yeah, dude. Beezer, what's, what's the most violent thought you ever had towards a woman? <laughs> Immediately punched him in the face. That's what you wanted to do to them? <laughs> a couple times, yeah. You've wanted to strike them? Yes. How what was the closest you ever came? Wow. Never. Do you have to get never. This is a, what? Will that thing pull around? He's this doing great. These are good. Oh, right. is, these are good on the audio. If this table these keeps fucking moving. Audio. Yeah. No. I uh chug water into the mic. With an X, I got the thought, and I remember being like, I gotta leave here. You got the thought well, of striking her? She was I mean, it, she was out of control psycho. Like it was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it's the only thing when a woman gets so crazy, the only and thing. She like do yelled it. shit like, Why don't you fucking hit me then? I was uh, like, bitch, I will fucking tune you on. I was like, I gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she bad. put it on the table. Yeah. And it's like, uh, all right, I gotta go. Yeah. I thought about taking that one. <laughs> I punch, yeah, you getting this you start punching a steering You've, wheel. Have you ever struck women? No. But I have <laughs> I have though I the only the only time I've ever got I've only hit one girl in my life and that was when I was in fifth grade. I punched a chicken. Oh, right. Thank God. That was, was when like, I was in fifth whoa. grade. I punched a chicken. What's the face. cutoff to like I think eighth grade I said I can't elementary in face in fifth grade? In fifth grade. <laughs> Did you mean to? Yeah. Yeah, of course, dude. We were, yeah. so she was a tomboy and we were like wrestling in her living room. She was a lesbian. <laughs> she pinned you. <laughs> Either way, uh, we were wrestling and then we stopped and then we were like sitting on our couch like a couple minutes after we were done and she like punched me in the balls like super hard. Uh, and out of instinct, I just belted her in the face. Yeah, I was out of jealousy. On her it was just too. like, I just did it. And then yeah. she ended up crying. I split both her lips and she was fucking. I Probably put on a dress. Both her lips? Yeah, both of them. Ooh, fucking hit her. Hell yeah. Fucking did you get in trouble? I uh, no, I left. And she cried. I just left while she did. She wear a dress the next day. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, did you knock she, her into being she came straight? To, she came to school and she had busted lips. Oh, and I boy. remember being like, oh, no. Because <laughs> I felt bad like she was going to tell everybody and she didn't. She just kept it. And then I went to her house. Because <laughs> you were walking by. You went back to the scene of the crime? <laughs> yeah, I had, went back because I liked her. I had a crush on her. so I You do look like an abusive dad. I know what I mean. In like a kid's movie. You look like the drunk, abusive dad. For sure. You've been sober. I know. Whoa. Oh, yeah, dude. How long? You're great. Yeah, dude. How? I heard you've been killing it, too. I heard you've been funnier. Yeah, thanks. Beezer's giving me the yes. rundown. Beezer's, Beezer's a good... Uh, Beezer's a loyal how pal. how much of a liability I was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, Certainly. remember the one time when I kicked you, mistaking you for a pile of trash in my house? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, at the top of the steps. <laughs> I was about me that. Me rough... <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, don't oh. just put that on me. Was that the day you guys day drank? <laughs> that was the day we oh, got... I remember that. We got four party. locos. I came in, I saw four loco cans. I'm like, who the fuck that was drinking these? That was the day these? I was uh, telling oh, those. Yeah. The hallway was, oh, yeah. The hallway was God. dark, and I came in, I like saw something. I'm like, maybe they left a bag of trash. And I'm like, oh, I just kicked it <laughs> and get it out of my way. And it was like, ugh. And I was like, who is that? And I held my cell phone i was like oh shane or i was like jesus christ yeah, i was yeah, down was at the day. basketball court with four logos telling those kids how to play basketball it's like oh you gotta do it. You gotta <laughs> the do kids it. me and oh. shane humiliated the one time yeah, down there did. destroy them i, I also yeah i think that day i like it's like crying calling my ex yeah we, yes. we watched that one we watched that one music video uh, about, stop it was, what'd you watch don't worry about oh me. wait a minute what i didn't know about this <laughs> no, 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 no. You guys have you tell this, i'll destroy you. you you guys have a joint no you cannot tell you you cannot tell anyone this <laughs> dude, yo you can't what? i'll fucking dude, eviscerate you do this not. is a secret brotherhood of this is just we, a friendship we, we had we had a very serious right. moment <laughs> And it's nothing like, wrong. I actually was moved. Can I get the artist nice. at least? I'll tell you. No, that's the worst no, part. No, I'll no, tell you later. Can't. No, I'll that's tell you why, later. That's why I'm not doing it. Thank Because I'm embarrassed by that. It's very embarrassing. I'm embarrassed by that. It's we a had an embarrassing time. We had a nice time. We both blacked out on four logos. Dude, you put on that. <laughs> you, put video dude, you put that on. I was like, come on, man. You're like, no, seriously. Dude, you got to check this out. And I was like, no, this is dumb. And then you put it on. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, it was great. 
Just hammered on strawberry lime for it. And dude, and dude he put it on, and I was just like dude. holding the kiwi lime, just like you got to kidding me, dude. Yeah, you got to be fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm, dude, and I'm fighting back tears. Uh, I'm not kidding. Shane just has like a blueberry stash. She's like, Shane, can I open up to you? <laughs> and dude, we were sitting, and you're like sitting on that stupid ottoman, like. Yeah, that was Dude, oh this, man. Let's change subject. <laughs> Switching gears. Wow. Switching gears. Here. I did not know about this. Yeah, we'll tell you. We'll tell yeah, you. We'll later. tell you. It's Woo, very I funny. It, dude. It's I a good song. It is a great, great song. song but we're not gonna tell anybody. We're not gonna tell anybody. Uh, uh, no shit. Yeah. Sometimes I put it on. Don't tell anybody, dude. Do, do not tell. I'm not gonna tell anybody. What's the matter? You would. No, we would be destroyed. It's super embarrassing because I felt like when we were done and I laid down on the floor, I was like, I'm gay. Yeah. Is that how you went upstairs? I just went in the hallway. Like, I, don't <laughs> bet. I gotta lay face first on the floor to get That's over so this. Good. Guys, don't dude. even worry about it. The blue tongue is just like, dude, I gotta tell you something. <laughs> but yeah. But uh, it's yeah. like forehead and mouth. <laughs> Too many foreheads. Your tongue's it's worse. funny. I've, I've listened to the song since and yeah. been like, what the fuck? It'll get you. It's funny if it was It's still good. It's yeah. still a good song. It's just All like, right, well, if you're not gonna tell me, let's get off it. Yeah, don't There's, worry about the yeah. song. It was okay. great, uh, but oh. yeah, a hundred plus days sober. So. That's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. That'd be tight if it was take the long way home. Don't no, guess. It, it was, <laughs> look, it was funny too. Somebody was like, "Oh, Shane hit rock bottom." I was like, "I don't I know, know if he did." That. I think he hit a couple of rock I've bottoms. Hit, I've hit yeah, I was hit, I've hit rock bottom and broke through like fucking Mortal yeah. Kombat when you get uppercut. It. What would you yeah. say? If you had to pick a good rock, rock bottom, bottom, that was one of my rock bottoms that day. That day, that was a terrible. Well, let me day. tell you, that was a that was a day that I woke up because we fell in, <laughs> fell asleep at like two o'clock in the afternoon. I woke yeah. up at seven at night. Yep. And I was like, it's still dark out. What's this about? And then yep. I fell asleep on your porch again for a little bit. And yep. then I walked home. And I remember thinking, like, this is bad. Yeah. Nah, in those days, that's not horrible for you. That's not that bad. Headbutt in the wall at <laughs> Helium. Headbutt in the wall at Helium was a, was a good one. one. A good one. Yeah, that one I was like, fuck him. Was that after yeah. a contest? No. No. That'd be swag, dude. No, 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 no. no. I that think was, it was, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. You got drunk and headbutt at all. Yeah. Hole in the wall. Remember you know, the group chat us? He's like, dude, do you guys have Jerry's number the next day? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys know how to work dude, I, I'll tell you what. Was that the green room? No. no. It was on the fucking. The pillar, no, right? The bar. At the bar. Damn, dude, the main room. I fucking went. Wow. Jumped up. I jumped. Dude, I fucking dolphin. <laughs> yeah, I had to I jump up. It's like a Ronaldo. I tried to get in on that and patch that and make a few bucks, but they wouldn't have me. No. That was a nice little racket you guys had. I tried. I try to patch that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, drunk and head butts walls. They made, here, here's and fix them. they made me go back and patch it. And I did it. Did that you really? Day. Yeah, I fucking went back. I bought spackle, everything. And did How it. wide of a hole? It's the drunkest thing I've ever heard. I had to go back. When Just you're drinking like that, you spackle. And being like, don't worry, I got spackle. I'll be <laughs> no, I had, to go, I had to go to the hardware store because <laughs> I, I had nothing. I, I walked there and I got, went to the hardware store, bought it. What size in. buck of spack did you get? Uh... Little boy, big one. You got a little. Oh yeah, the big one. A big enough one where I'm like, I don't know how much I'm gonna need, because then I, because I didn't know yeah, how bad, little, the, yeah. didn't know how bad the damage was, and I got there and I was like, I kept putting yeah. my head in the. It hole, was pretty bad. Being like, holy crap! How did you just go you? straight plaster? Did you? No, tape I put it or what? I put a little bit of that weird like. It looks like screen. Yeah, I, I got put you. that. In put there. the gauze. I don't know what gauze it up. No, you, you did it. You did I the thing. Did you did a good job. Could have done a blowout stuff. patch with the gauze. Yeah, a lot of people just jam that stuff in there. No, I wouldn't have done that. Cakes up and cracks. It's too much. Song. Too much respect. <laughs> but uh, a... oh, I thought you were looking at Gardena. No, just yeah, an that's on one. It. And then I guess. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what the fuck is this? I got snaps. It scared me. <laughs> I got snaps. Why'd you startle me? You got fucking snaps. <laughs> if it seemed like a good time, instead of some snaps, dude. Do me a favor. When when you edit this video, please edit the sneezing panda video with that <laughs> side by side, dude. That's exactly what I just did. You snapped, and I was like, <laughs> oh, don't you just throwing snaps? Yeah, I thought I had to throw a snap, dude. You want a snap? You get you get dude. Keep some on deck. Yeah, I'll get these right. Yeah, everyone gets two, everyone gets a snap or two. And throw your pleasure. Fucking handing out your black magic, dude. Fuck yeah. Careful. Thanks. Yeah, you're all snatched. <laughs> <laughs> you're quirky. I'm, dude, I'm fucking getting silly. Yeah, you're dude. fired you're up. Yeah, dude, you're all right. Hey, what are you fired doing? up about today? Dude, I just, you know, I have a new lease on life. I had a reckoning <laughs> in the bathtub the other day. I fully comprehended the fact that I I, I could, I, I probably don't. I could have a fucking degenerative brain disorder. You don't. I, I could have a growth. Here, I'll be your doctor right now. I could have a growth. Hey. 
You're How fine. are you coming to this conclusion? Because I I've, Googled it. Yeah, I Googled it. But I also <laughs> went to the doctor. Never... I've been having very things that are very possibly temporal lobe seizures, which are, it's not, it just sounds a lot worse than it is. It's just like a weird smell. So, you know, look, I probably am probably Hold fine. On. I'm 99% sure I'm fine, but I, I just face that 1% possibility that I have a humongous brain tumor. I'm going to die very soon. Is there any way that not you're going to see my daughter grow up and instruct her through life? And I cried in the bathtub. Ooh. And I've been feeling great ever since. Wait, what happened that you cried? Dude, I like. I was like, dude, what if I do have some fucked up thing and I don't get to like usher oh, my child through girl. life? Yeah, I just. I ah, yeah, that's horrible. So, are but you- then, but then I said, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking. I'm just gonna ride this thing as hard as I can. Someone's gonna turn the lights off me. Snacks. Someone's gonna turn the lights off me eventually. Someone's gonna shut my lights off eventually. Oh yeah. I only got you know who knows, dude. Oh, I yeah. gotta live, laugh, love. <laughs> so I figured I'd throw this fucking snaps, dude. Live, laugh, love, and cry in the tub. Yeah, that's exactly what yeah. it Crying in the tub happens. I just eat and pray. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> All I do is eat and pray. Do you feel Do you feel uh, attacked by the snaps? I felt a little offended. I didn't even throw it at you. I threw it right in the I know, but it's still, you know how I get there in fireworks. <laughs> I hate fire. Anytime there's fire, 4th of July, I'll be in my parents' bathtub. <laughs> she got a, <laughs> a scared dog. She got a thunder jacket. Get a thunder jacket. Yeah, like something to hug me the whole time. Yeah, they're weighted, they're weighted things you give dogs. It's like a weighted blanket, but you can cut a head out of it. You're Dude, always ready. my parents' house. I was just there oh, yesterday. God. Good. It's it's chaos. Yeah. Where'd you even sleep? So my, there's a new one. There's a new Gillis. There's another kid now. Yep. So there's four children. Jesus. My other niece was there. There's five kids. Damn. Two sisters, brother-in-law, two giant dogs, and, yeah. and me and both my parents. It that's, was... That sounds awful. If somebody broke into that house, that's Dog. what I was thinking about. Oh, my It was God. just how funny it would be to just like... They'd be, they'd be like, how many people are in this fucking True. house? It would be <laughs> insane. Like at night, just... <laughs> It would like be a, a stampede. Car. They would think they're halluc- That would be like a Max Payne hallucination. It really would. They'd yeah, be like, and some of them are black kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. They'd yeah. be like totally fucking through. They'd be thrown from a kind of abstract painting. It <clears throat> really is. Just right, come, just Jesus. a college brochure flying <laughs> out so of the coming rooms. down the steps. So, so like, progressive. The I mean, yeah, an here, Arab, also, some Egyptian <laughs> comes rolling down. It's like, dude, this isn't real. This is crazy. We're being punked. This is a Disney show. Yeah. Fuck. Phil's yeah, gonna be losing his mind. Phil's getting tanked. Yeah, I mean, oh, I figured that. But yeah, it's it's all it all is all you can do. And and I'm I'm giving him a pass on that one. All the yeah. women, it's just women. Oh. Yeah, women and children, and meanie. And he's <laughs> yeah. just getting chirped at by. And there was a brand a five day old baby. Ooh, yeah, people oh are God. just chirping. That was like a fucking worst day. At it was, dude. I got home. My <laughs> my sister. I get home. I sit down. First thing I do is there's some meatballs. Start crushing them. How many did you have? I had three meatballs. Just three meatballs. Nice. I'm watching my figure. And <laughs> how big were the balls? Medium balls. Good balls. They're homemade. Pretty, medium meatballs. Homemade balls by shout out Mrs. Osborne for the homemade balls. Nice. Dude. She came over and blessed us with those. And then uh Swag. while I'm doing that, my sister's like, okay, and just takes out breast pumps. Starts milking. Yeah, man. those are fucking. I weird. left. I left the house. That's a yeah. weird situation. I went and got coffee. I was like, I'm not. <laughs> so is she pumping exclusively, or is she? Uh... I don't know. Is she I didn't ask. One or two? I was Dude, furious. Chicks. Yeah, I'm once... fuming the whole time. Did she? She just hooked up right in front of you. No, she was still. She was on the recliner facing. Yeah. So I was in the kitchen. You turn around. So I couldn't see her, but I saw the back of her head, and I heard the. And you saw the milk going. I didn't see the milk, but I left. I said, "This is disgusting." What? Dude, it's gross. Dude, it's crazy. She was like, it's natural. I was like, that is, you're holding a thing that plugs in. Yeah, dude. Disgusting. <laughs> My sister Disgusting. did that, but she That's rested her tits response. on the table well, and put a blanket over expressed. top of it. it looked, what? It looked fucking hilarious what happened? as shit. My sister put her tits on the table and hooked the two breast pumps up and then put a blanket over top of it and just sat what? there. Like, like lunch? Her. Dude, it was fucking ridiculous. She, she just sat there. It just looked tits. like a fucking bib on somebody. It was fucking ridiculous. She should have a nice rack. Yeah, they were big. Like, yeah, they're yeah. pregnant. Too. They're, they're literally like, ET in front of the baby, bike. They're baby tits. Yeah, baby tits are like footballs are huge. <laughs> yeah, dude. She could have hand expressed. Britney squirts me with her milk all the time. I, I, That's, she goes, look. What? That would be a strike. Wait, when you say look, like when you throw the snaps, like you're unexpected, you just get hit with No, I, I go, don't. I, every time I go, don't. Don't. You don't. Like it just, don't. I don't, really, I don't really. I'm not a fan. You have like you it. tasted it? Yeah, I drank it. It's very metallic. It's like it tastes sweet at first. metallic Yeah, breast milk. It's all metallic. It's a ton of iron. So breast mm. milk tastes very sweet at first. Like this stuff is, I can get into this and you go, oh, it's like a crazy metallic tang. Mm. Not as a cow's got it figured out. I sipped some cow's milk recently and was like, oh man, I forgot how good this shit was. Yeah. 
after sampling, <laughs> I, went home, I went home and just destroyed milk this it's whole year. It's fucking nice. pretty good, man. Yeah. I got some whole milk for my baby. And I was like, let me sip this up. And I was like, this shit is pretty yes. fucking good. Bees, you like milk? I, I don't like whole milk that much. Yeah. Whole milk I can do every once in a while. It's like a Newport <laughs> 100. You're you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. More like 2% reduced fat. I'm into you that. You skim guy? No, I can't Thank do skim. God. I can't fuck with skim. No. I can't be associated with skim drinks, dude. <laughs> I don't like that. I, I do skim milk. Does piss me? It's pissed me off since I was a little child. <laughs> yeah, just, I go to my yeah, friend's yeah, house and they have like that green cap, and I'm like, yeah, oh, what? Would you two shut up. What? Jesus, you drink skim? No, no I'll crush any milk, dude. Bring I won't it. drink skim. Present me it. We used I'll to make it. fun of the kids who drank skim in elementary school because it came in a pink carton. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. You know, as soon as wow. you saw that, you're like, you pussy. Damn, fucking wreck kids. Forgot about this girl. This girl used to sell milk. What? You would go buy your milk at lunch. Yeah. And this one girl, she was an eighth grader. She milkmaid. She had a crush on me, and I was a sixth oh, grader. Dude. She was mm. a beautiful milkmaid. <laughs> Milkers. Would she ever slip you milks? <laughs> she would. We would. We would flirt. Dude, you guys were like a Germanic village. True. Yeah, <laughs> she was a beautiful milkmaid. I forget her name. Good God. Oh. That's wow. So what a sweet angel. She looked like Ren Stevens. That's all I remember. Oh, she was like so a, hot, yeah, dude. she was oh, so hot. Damn. Oh, I thought you were talking about beans. I, I pictured beans. Or no, something. no, I looked, looked like beans. Like, yeah, <laughs> she looked like Rand Stevens. Rand Stevens was. She I looked like hot. Rand Stevens. I used to come into my. See? Oh, I think I remember. Uh-huh. Did you ever see the movie where she gets naked? No, uh, Christy Carlson Romano is a real name. I gotta say, I looked it up and I beat dude. I used to walk in and my sister make, dude, shut this shit up. I would see Rand and be like, oh, yeah, Rand Stevens. She's so fucking hot. Yeah, she was a nice, fine brunette. Yeah, good Catholic girl. She's wearing obviously the Catholic uniform. Uh, now, did she have the milk like? No, they were in boxes. But was she holding it? Or was no, it was just on. <laughs> like a St. Pauli like girl? A, like a yeah. Saint yeah. <laughs> Huge tits hanging out. Wow. She what a fine memory. I haven't even that's thought of. That's a great of. memory. I haven't even thought of. That's sick. Dude. Yeah, that's nice. I found Ooh. out where they kept all that stuff, and I used to go in to help myself. Yeah, the chocolates. Chocolate yeah, milk, the fruit. Oh, you we the wild milk. Oh, the strawberry milks? You guys dude, ever get strawberry milk? We didn't, we didn't get. I was talking about strawberry milk recently, dude. I used to get the fucking YooHoo strawberry. Yeah. yeah. Only ballers drank strawberry milk. Some strawberry people milk didn't touch great. it. Some people didn't touch it. You know, I respect them, but I fucked with strawberry milk hard. I liked it. Beezer, did you have fun in Cleveland? I did. I got hit with a hard. Oh, crash. let's get to it. He was a crabby. Oh, I know. I got hit with a crab. 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 I had to shit, dude. Oh crap! I dude. had a major I crab, you said attack. crab attack. We were laughing about it all week. I was out. I've like, been dying. There's like a clothing store across the street from this club in the hotel so yeah. i like walked over i was just looking at it it's like it's all like cleveland shirts sure. so i wasn't gonna buy anything it was just yeah. i had nothing to do i was walking around so like while i was like flipping through like looking at shirts dude just the grumble oh. hit dude i literally was like looking at shirts, <laughs> <I> was, like, <laughs> <laughs> i just had to fucking fat walk as fast as i could Damn. back across the street oh. like which was busy so i was like race to my hotel unleash oh. unleash hell man i thought you took a dump in like the gift shop no, I had I to. I thought this would. They must get hit scary. with the hardest dumps. Some Cleveland? dude from like, yeah, some dude from like some other country, just like those gift shops. Oh yeah, yeah. Like Indian dudes on an American <laughs> diet. It's I like, crap amongst them. So I crap it. I crap in rest, rest stops, stops and airports. True, yeah, I crap in rest stops and airports every week. True. And it's always just me and Indian dudes. On yeah, they get it in. They go Damn, ham, dude. That's what the best thing about keeping the mask on was. True. You could crap publicly, and it felt a little safer. True. And Hell then yeah. I usually have headphones in, so I'm not embarrassed of my own explosive. <laughs> I don't think you <laughs> have uh, crapping in a rest stops like in yeah, international I'm traveling. They, they can't, yeah. nobody, nobody can judge you in there. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, you like tap I mean, I will. You're, not, you're never judged for yeah. real, but it, yeah. it does. True. Good point. It does feel bad when you when you're in there unloading for some time, and then you walk out, and there's a man waiting, I love and you it, know dude. he has yeah. to follow your hot. <laughs> seat. I love that, dude. If <laughs> I'm in a turnpike, hot. Nah, if I'm in a turnpike, it's like, let's get into it. If I'm in a rest stop, it's like... You want to feel another man's heat. Yeah, I want to see better be warm, and I'm going to shit as loud yeah. as I can. <laughs> I'm like, dude, let's go. Yes. Let's see what's up. We'll never <laughs> we'll never get to do this. We don't know each other. It's totally dude, you anonymous. you make stern eye contact when you come out, too? Yeah, come out. I go, it's all yours, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. all yours, bro. What's up, fellas? 76 is running hot today. <laughs> <laughs> Saw a couple cops by 326. <laughs> Keep an eye on that. You push your hat forward too, and just like later, fellas, walk (laughs) out. It's all yours. yours. Definitely don't. Definitely don't wash your hands. No, just walk out and go. (laughs) Spit on them. Just do that. I'm gonna start blowing my nose in uh, like the air dryers. Just going and going, (laughs) just blowing boogers everywhere. (laughs) (laughs) I like that. Yeah, flip it up. Flip it upwards. Hell yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> just go to the seat. <laughs> the guys don't want to use any paper towels. 
Yeah, the crap <sighs> attack. That was that was the heat I was bringing this week. Dude, that's yeah. fucking wicked. That's just like the ultimate the like being like too. looking and then when you get a hit, just. <laughs> that knocks you down a peg or two dude. Just, you have to walk home <laughs> going across the street in that button I button. literally walked into this clothing store for maybe one minute walked oh. like was in there looking at myself just <laughs> yeah, so, leave, dude. No, I was no. coming. I, I met down with him like a half hour later, and he told me, and I was like, "That's the like the ultimate life roast." You're like feeling good about yourself. You're like, <laughs> you gotta damn walk it. back to the hotel. Like I'm a fucking idiot. God damn it! Walking back in gym shorts, holding it crap. Did you ever get cramps when you got a crap? No. And you're like, what? Oh, dude, I've got, I'll get like, like stomach cramps. Yeah, I'll get like, oh. if I hold it in, sometimes I try to be a good boy and hold it in a little too long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Let me finish the dishes and I'll just be a good boy holding it in. And then by the time I go upstairs, I'm like, oh, it starts to cramp, dude. It starts to like, my stomach starts to be like, get this out now and I'll get cramps and be like, I might not be able to get this out. <laughs> I've got Ooh, crap headaches. Release. You got crap headaches? Really? Yeah, dude. I've From holding it in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got crap headaches. You start sweating. You're like, "Fuck, I can't do." It. I got. Are you it. serious? Yeah, dude. Crap grain. Yeah, dude. Crap <laughs> grain, dude. I've gotten crap grain before. And there's, they don't make exceptions for that, too. There's no crap grain. There's no exception. I never had that, dude. Where's the? Crap? How do you get it dumped mm. from that? I think you're just dehydrated, dude. There used to be. Hey, look, it's a combination alcoholic. thing. Yeah, that might have been it. When yeah, would, it's, yeah. When I would work, it's, I would have to take crap, get and, I crap could, grain. and I would just be like, "Man, my Google if hurts. you can get a headache from holding in." There's no way you certainly can't. You get a headache from literally anything. anything. I guess Especially fecal, if you Google it. Fecal poisoning? You can go septic, yeah. Whoa, you dude, have, did you just you sub? Have, uh, did you just sub me? You might have seizures. Oh, fuck. Oh, I, might have have epilepsy. Having, I might have epilepsy. I'm going to sub tweet dude, you. Am I gonna have oh, what, from holding crap? You subbed me, dude. Crap you epilepsy, You subbed me. You said, especially when you look it up, you could find anything. Yeah. And then you jumped right to epilepsy. You subbed me. Yeah, I was subtweeting you. I'm subbing. I'm going to sub What are you going to say? Sometimes you just want to do a podcast for everyone to Sometimes I just want to be alone, dude. I hate just, having a co-host. Just what you thought you'd know someone. <laughs> Subtweets are I mean, so sick. Dude, have you started subtweeting me? <laughs> I thought about that It'd the other day. It'd be so fucking I started funny. thinking about that the other day. It's <laughs> like, why are they subtweeting you? <laughs> if, I, like, if I saw that, I would just be like, dude, what the fuck is going You would ruin my shit. God, that'd be funny. Actually, remember every time I did good good, they would subtweet me? The whole group would just subtweet me? I was, I was doing the dishes the other day laughing about if I started like slowly just like super vague and then like slowly broaden it or like bring it in until I was like obviously stop tweeting you <laughs> like, what the fuck be like it's not about you what the yeah. fuck? be like very we'll like talk about a thing and five minutes later <laughs> dude I would I would go do those shows and then like clockwork an hour later somebody there would be like racist motherfuckers shouldn't be on stage I'd be like dude, you just gave me a handshake it's dude you it just laughed I watched you laugh dude all I know is, I won't say who, one of them told me Digital Graffiti was the best show they've ever seen. Yeah. They all loved it. Oh, yeah. yeah. We got to bring that back. That was a great show. Yeah. I was yeah. thinking about that today. We've been dude. talking about it since the podcast started. <laughs> We've never brought it back. Oh, you know what? We could do it. What? I have that show on the 5th. Maybe we could do it at Helium. That would be tight. Oh, instead of adding second show. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do two. Yeah. First one sold out right away. Not a big deal, dude. Just fucking chill. Instantly, dude. It's not a big deal, dude. This is how I live. Proptacular. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I meant to fucking yeah, pay so. Um, <sighs> That'll be fun. That's like this weekend. Yeah. It's this. Yeah, it's the fifth, right? Crazy. Yeah. Mon- this Monday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It's South Monday. Day. You guys. Fifth of July. How are you going to celebrate the fourth, man? What are you doing? Um, I'm going to go to my aunt's house. Hmm. Yeah, they have an inflatable hot tub. I'm going to hop in that thing. Ooh, that sounds terrible. No, I, don't, I think they'll have cold water. <laughs> no, they're sick, dude. I like hot tubs, but it's going to be 110 degrees. No, but we'll probably fill it with cold water. All right. So it's Wait, not, it's, it's an inflatable, inflatable system. System. Uh, it's a tub. You're supposed, it's supposed to be hot. So it's just a pool <laughs> with jets. It's supposed to be hot, though. So, so it's just gonna it be a bunch of cousins up. hopping in a lukewarm <laughs> inflatable tub. <Ooh>. <laughs> might be. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> They have a big ass. Are you gonna piss in the tub? Yeah, dude. Definitely gonna it's, a, it's it's the size of his table. I don't know if I would. What if you have another revelation in that tub? Yeah. What if you start? What if crying you start in that thinking tub? and if crying? Cry, in that cry. Tub. You know how good you feel after you cry? Yeah, it's great. You feel so what? good. I you felt cry all the time, dude. Shut up. I haven't cried in a while. <laughs> dude, you don't remember yourself crying. You're you probably getting hammered. Do you know how many times I saw you cry? You used to cry at helium every weekend, dude. You used to black out and be like, I'm like, not now, Shader. Stop. Wipe your fucking teeth. That would be so funny. Beezer cries every night. Beezer goes home and puts his head in the pillow. I scream. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Kyla comforts you. What's wrong, Beezer? Yeah, our dog cries. Guard dog gets in there. He's like, uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Guard dog, when's the last time you cried? Probably after that roast battle. <laughs> Probably after the boys roasted you. <laughs> Damn. That was a delayed act. Dude, no one doesn't give a fuck. That was high as hell. <laughs> You're not high at all today? <laughs> Didn't even react. Yeah, right. No, Didn't even react. I was high. What are you, fibbing? I was high earlier. I'm not high. Yeah, you were high today. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're legally is, fine to drive. This is very funny. I'm not going to put who it was on blast, but somebody in my family was eating a brownie yesterday. Nice. And they were like, this brownie's so good. Oh. And I was like, when's the last time you had a brownie? Like, just be, I was like, stop eating fucking brownies every day. <laughs> so she was eating a brownie. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. They were eating and a brownie. And down. <laughs> and well, uh, so well, you have to guess. there's a couple of people. But yeah. then uh, I was like, when's the last? She was like, I, don't know, I can't remember. I don't know. I was like, I bet within the last 24 hours. <laughs> oh, no. Then it switched to ice cream. I was like, when's the last time you had ice cream? You eat ice cream every day. And she was like, I was just being an asshole. Yeah. But well, no, she, was like she was lying. She was lying. Oh, she, she was like, I don't know. I don't know if I can ever have that. That's an never. And I was like, you had, when's the last time you had ice cream? She's like, three days ago. And I was like, I don't know this for sure, but I guarantee in the last 24 hours, you've had some ice correct. cream. You're and then the other sister chimed in and ratted her out. And then it was, yeah, there was a fight. Then I was an asshole. Yeah, Girls yeah. with ice cream is like, how many days has gone by? It's like us not coming. It's the same thing. True. They can do like three days and they're like, fuck, dude, yeah, somebody, I need a scoop. I need a scoop. Just a scoop. Just, just, a scoop. just <laughs> one bite and then put it back. <laughs> they need ice cream, dude. Yeah, Damn, it's crazy. Girls are fucked up on sugar right now. Hmm. Didn't even know. Oh, sugar, wine, <laughs> wine got them, and they're hard on sugar. Oh yeah, they got fucked by they wine. Watch wine, wine, is fucking, wine crushed them. That's the crazy thing. Dude. Wine's fucked up. They also wine was porn. like a, such a weird trend for the last like decade. It's, Not that wine, yeah. obviously, wine's ancient. No, wine but like became, the last ten yeah. years, it was like I drank wine every day. It's yeah. like yeah. stop yeah. drinking yeah. a bottle of wine and watching <laughs> The Office. <laughs> yeah. Two bottles of wine, an ex girlfriend, just, just two bottles of wine a day. Watch The Office, day, dude. No shit. I love Damn. Jim and Pam. And then I would be like, oh, I'm not that bad. <laughs> Fuck you. You're not Jim. Damn, I wonder if that's what turned you an alcoholic. <laughs> what? Trying to keep up with that bitch that was drinking two bottles no, a day. No, man. I was, because we would get, we would hang out and she'd be like, well, are you going to get something? Yeah, I'll get a bottle. She of an whiskey. Antifa? She was an Antifa. No. Oh, Shaner's exclusively dated Antifa. Really? Yes, dude. Yeah. Tattooed vixens that hate capitalism. They just hate everything. Yes. So you're dicking them down. They don't fucking care. They they you never dated Antifa, care. have you really? Yes. Dated Antifa? I or whatever. Well, what Every I'm single one of his I chicks would, I wouldn't, has I their wouldn't. pronouns in their bio and has oh, well, some marks. Yeah, we were talking no, about no, that no, yesterday. No, no. He got no, lit up, not dude. Not including older women. No. Shane is sexist and racist. What? Found that out I'm yesterday. What? You are. Yep. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. Um. So, no, no, not the one. The one, the last one and the one before that definitely didn't give a shit about pronouns at all. Nice. And then the other how one. How they feel about Trump? How, how they, they feel, feel about, Trump? about yeah. Trump? They both thought he was retarded. Okay. But you ever bang a pro Trump? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. I've won, I, I've won in like, mind. I, I don't think. care. I don't care what your political views are as long as you're looking to get yeah, you're it. You're trying to come. Yeah, yeah. As long as you're looking to get it. As long as you're looking to get it. And True. I play the field. So it's just like, oh, you hate this? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. maybe. I hate that too. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, do you? yeah, I wonder how many guys are actually like dudes are like that. Like, well, just, like you, you like Trump? See ya. Oh, like oh no, not at all. Yeah, none, not at all. Front like it on social media, but girls Dude, do it too. A lot of those was, girls bullshit. There was a fucking thing like on my Tinder profile. I put I have no religious or political views. You and put then that I, on? I put it on there, and then I would like swipe and get a match, and then it'd be like, how can you not have any political views? Yeah, I was gonna like, say that's gotta go uh, work dude, against you. It does. Tinder. Sometimes yeah. you're just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Hilarious. And like. When I registered to vote, I registered as no affiliation, and I got shit for that, too. Yep. What the fuck? From who? Racist. From the people at the polls. I'm yep. fucking not kidding you. you I fucking pushed it over. I was just like, what are you talking about? They're like, oh, no affiliation? <laughs> okay. I'm like, okay. I'm like, fuck off. That's yeah, dude. Crazy. Did you tell them you were in the industry? <laughs> yeah. You said, bro. Just drop I'm, that. I'm in the I'm industry. I'm in the industry. Yes, I hate it when they say the industry. I fucking why? Well, I know you do. I, I he fucking hates it. Anyway. He, he hates fucking it. hates Same it anyway man. because it's not Any the service. industry. Is We're talking the service industry. Yeah, I'm talking yeah, about manufacturing. Oh, I had, some, the, yeah. I had some. I had some waiters and waitresses coming at me about your thing about not paying them. Whoa, I tip them. I tip them well. I tip them crazy. Oh, I always I tip well. them That's well. I'll tell you why I tip them because when I started, pardon me. Yeah, I was gonna say. Order. I'm Order. out of snaps. I'm I out of snaps. One. I got one. Hey, I'm left. 
<laughs> Whoa, Shane, come on. Yeah. Ah! Whoa, that was. Can you? That was yeah, you can do that. that I remember that. I remember the cool kids would do that in my oh, neighborhood. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh. yeah. It's like it's not working. I just wasn't oh, squeezing yeah. it. I knew a dude who He's used so to put scared. one single black hat on the palm of his hand and light it off. Damn. Yeah, you do the bottle rockets. Like, I don't know where that was. <laughs> it's Billy's. Yeah. You do the bottle rockets out your hand. Yeah. Bad kid. Yeah. That. that was so, more bad kids. So, so yeah, we I want to. The reason I tip so much is because when I started at Helium, I had zero money. Yeah. So like I'd be working a weekend and they'd give you free beers, and then I would just not tip them. Sure. Because well, first off, I was hosting. Yeah. I'd be getting a hundred, two hundred yeah. bucks maybe the whole weekend. Yeah. And then. It got around, and some of the waiters and waitresses at Helium like hated me, and were like mean about it. You're poor. I was a poor man. Yeah. Now I come in, they're like, "Ooh, we love yeah. you." And I'm like, "Fucking scum, <laughs> <laughs> you scum." That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Dude. And now whenever I'm out, I tip excessively. I always tip well. I'm twenty yeah. percent. But you do not. I well, if I, I don't know, I'm joking. I know. I was like, I tip. I <laughs> fuck myself by going, bro. I would tip even when I didn't have a lot of money. I would hip, tip over high, and like I remember. People, That's industry code. They just over like, high, like over high, whatever. What's over high? It's code. Uh, over the high. Yeah. Mark. Like all day in a kitchen. Yeah. yeah we got uh, four omelets, two sausages all day. So anyway, I would do that. And what's over high? Like over twenty percent. I see. Time. Oh, I, I'm always over. Yeah, high. yeah. You gotta stay over. 20%. But it, it. But I would do it. But half of it was because I didn't know math very well. So sure. I would just like try. Nailed it. I'd be like, I don't yeah, know. I've missed that I, a couple I times. I don't later. know what I'm doing. So I would always tip high and be like, Wow, that's very generous. I'm like, No, it's double it. Double the first. Double the first. I'm fucking double. Like there'd be times like, Ooh, wow. I'm like, Oh fuck. Yeah. yeah, damn it! I did not. Yeah, I tip well, that. but in my head, I'm like, I, I think we should do it. We should. I think it does a disservice when you uh, pay a job that high. That's that menial. <laughs> like what? a waitress, what? they get paid like six hundred bucks a night. I don't understand. They get paid Why? like six hundred bucks a night. Yeah, but they don't get complain. any benefits. I didn't get fucking benefits forever. Then they complain. They're like, your job's so hard. It's like, Man. no, it's fucking not. It's mindless. Mr. Pink. Jesus I think it's hard. <laughs> Waiting for no, I could not be a a busy waitress. It's I could literally never do but that. But for 600 bucks, I had to night? stand like to film things all day. And I was yeah. like, I'm just so tired. It's not even just the Obviously, standing. get used to it. It's the it, that is, that's taxing. I'm saying, yeah, but you don't cry about it. I see waiters all the time like, oh, so hard. This guy I was mean, mean to bitching, me. Bitching, bitching. Like, First off, that comes you, with dude. the territory. Everyone's, everyone's a dick. Everyone starts out with an F when they come in a <laughs> That's how I feel. Fuck Everyone. <laughs> I was, there, was a, there was a comedian you one hate time. hate them, bro. I, look, do your job. I don't care. Get paid. But like, I don't hear waiters Just shut up and dribble. Yeah, that's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Shut up and drip. I used, to, I used to do demolition. Yeah. I would like be doing that and be wow. dealing with comedians who were like, oh, some guy was such an asshole at my table. I only made 550. I'd, like, I'd make like 150 bucks out in the sun all day. Yeah. You're going to cry? I think it's more like the way that it is. You know exactly what the Let's fuck. Let's hear from the industry's perspective. What I'm, what I'm going to say <laughs> is that you know exactly what the fuck you're doing and you're in your element. When you are dealing with the general fucking populace of these fucking animals that come in the goddamn building, it's way different. I've been. And here's I've something you've restaurant. never had to deal with yeah. when you're doing the I'm fucking bus boy. Let me tell you something. Boy. Yeah, you're a bus boy. But what I'm also going to say is when you're there for fucking 13 hours, you're dealing with another element of people pissing and shitting and puking and bleeding all over the fucking place. Whoa. That's the difference, man. A lot of people don't fucking get that yeah, because when stop, you're at the bro. goddamn job site, yeah. you know what you're doing. Whoa. You don't have to fucking deal with other fucking <laughs> retards. I'm fucking telling you. Dude, Adam, bro, everybody. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> fucking says it. And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying there aren't pussies in the industry. It's filled in strife with those faggots. But the problem is. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. The problem Whoa. is. The Who's problem gonna is. The problem is everyone <laughs> shits on the industry oh because they're like, oh, you're bitching and pissing. And get the <laughs> that slowly. Gets off. It just never gets that pussy it. ever again. You start just making no. these gestures. Dude, it's, the it's not a hard job. It's, it is a hard job. It's it is a hard job. job. It is if you've never done anything else that's harder. <laughs> okay, I'm not. Look, I'm also. <laughs> if you've never had any oh, other job, it's hard. All right, all right. I'm also speaking from the fact that I was a bar back. I wasn't a server. So was I. So was I. So what I'm also going to say on all that day. 13 hour shift when you're moving a bunch of crap and you're also cleaning Standard up work day to me, someone's ahead. diarrhea and someone's puke. <laughs> How does that fall the bar in the back? back? Because that's just, Yeah, that's. See, you'd quit. Yeah, you're you don't have it. Cause you, you don't no, die. because I was just selling drugs and I could do whatever I wanted. All right. <laughs> yes. Yes. I guess I can't fucking compete with that. Look, <laughs> I think it is hard. It is I fucking like hard. It. It's, it's it's for what you get paid, you also for what you get paid. with the fact that you could lose your job at any minute because someone would be like, I don't like your attitude. You that's get every job, dude. No, that's not. No, that's your boss. I'm talking about the fucking Yelp review okay. bullshit. Yo. Your oh, boss, yeah, you got your boss, up 
Yeah, just settle down. Get a drink. Now I'm going to start <laughs> taking a yeah, shot. Have dude. a drink, would you? Now Jesus. that I know I can Sober just take them out with... Lunatic. Now that I know I can take it's them out with Yelp. like Christopher this I was like, I'm so a fucking drink. Fuck I'm going to start ruining waiters with Yelps. Wow. No, don't do that. That's dude, I'm he got, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, stop. Well, Yo, Matt. I'm stop, bro. <laughs> don't do that. I just love gassing up waiters. As a, any other job is like, your job's not hard. They're like, all right, dude, whatever. Like, yo, waiters. He's saying he just so triggered you in this dude, bad city. Sorry. That Every was a time. trigger. I'm sorry I went Dude, off. dating a waitress. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude, you're defending, you know, the waiting industry. It's servants. You might get some pussy out of this for I, that. Dude, I, I bet you do. That's fine. Some high waisted chick is just letting her belly in her fucking jeans like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it is hard. <laughs> I got to deal with white men. <laughs> That's the woman, not you. That actually sounded more like you. Yeah, I support you in this argument. I think Matt's being rude. No, he's but he's but he's not being he's not making invalid points. Just because he thinks about, the job's easy, and, and he's, he's like, never I can even just sell done. drugs. Yeah, you could. Just I'm sell. a yeah, dude, construction. They give you the tools to be your own. You boss. can actually sell a lot of drugs in a restaurant. Oh, too, there's, there's tons. A lot of drug addicts everywhere. So you're telling me? Yeah, you'd cross selling these drugs. Typically, drug addicted no, people are the hardest workers. What's that? There's all it's drug addicts. The restaurants are infested with drug addicts. Sure. Oh yeah, it's complaining drug addicts. Easy job. <laughs> it's not that hard, and they're getting paid it's a so much. I, and they're buying drugs. <laughs> yep. It. I'm, trust me. Yeah, they need to start working hard like comics. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Fuck. I man. just killed up my backyard today, dude. That's hard work. I, I was out in 95 degrees, just loving it, dude. Yeah. Loving it. I don't want to hear any lip. I mowed the lawn the other day. I don't want to hear Did any you lip mow the from lawn? the fucking bartender. Bartending is cake, dude. I was a bus bus boy. Bar, bartending is bartending is also the true hero. I was a bus boy. So was I. I washed dishes. Yeah. For so wait, I heard you. Watch dishes too. How wait? How long? I watched dishes too. How long did you do it for? The Maybe, bu- the always a couple months, and I'd be like, "Fuck this." I liked washing dishes, but it didn't pay. I hated. I liked, I liked washing, washing dishes. That did rule. Washing dishes. I washed dishes. Don't, dishes all don't get me wrong. Like if I was working in it, like I never, I never. The industry was gonna say. I never wanted to be a bartender at all. Because I didn't want, I didn't give a shit about <laughs> making drinks small. for anybody. <laughs> yeah, that's I also, respect bartenders. Though. Also, a lot of the times people never gave me a fucking. No, everyone that thought was I was mean. Everyone thought I, I was retarded. That's fucked up. They thought you were. T- I everybody run into that all day. Everyone dude, don't thought worry. I was retarded. <laughs> well, no, I respect because bartenders. I would just stand me on the bar. Do you try to walk it back? No, no, no. I don't dare try to walk it back. I respect, respect like, barkeep. No, no problem here. A good barkeep, they earn their money. Sleeveless Matt is a. He's a First motherfucker, all, dude. The barkeep is the biggest like prima Hoss. donna pussy. Yo, you look like Hulk Hogan, thing. dude. <laughs> <laughs> you know, go fucking do I one still, of these. Dude, do the double. Do, do the side. No, no, no. Both like, gotta... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you look jacked as hell. <laughs> I stole a bartender's tips when I was a busboy one time. Oh, man. And it's funny because you're like, these people don't work. I'm just going to go in and do yeah, the worst job ever. I was going and sell some boxing and steal their tips. <laughs> <laughs> Like pussies, I'm out of here. Wow, man. Once I once I got enough money to buy like a half pound of weed, I like I quit. You're yeah, real, you're real. Do you, how do you feel money, when the industry gets disrespected? Like this? <laughs> how do I feel? And I'm glad you brought it because when I've I've been on the I've disrespected the industry myself. Yeah. I've run into some bitch ass. There's too many antifas in the industry. What am I going to tell you? Like I said, and they suck. There is a lot of shitty people who work in it. They're yeah. they're not going to get away from that, and you're going to get away. And you're yeah, also, but they're just jerks sometimes. They're yeah, mean they're jerks. annoying people. Yeah, and they, if they just get they in and they be shouldn't gone. be in there anyway. Yes. But the fact of the matter is, they're not all, the Richmond bartender. That guy's actually there chill. There are he people rules. who are just <laughs> trying to work and get as much money as they can because they have other shit going on. But when people come in and they immediately are like, oh, this guy's working in a bar, of course he's fucking stupid. Why else? <laughs> I didn't say why that. Else, yeah. I didn't why say else? that. No, no, no. But you said that. You no, did say that. No, you said, you yeah. You tantamount to what you're getting. <laughs> he's at. like, oh, they all you're like, you can do this. You, why don't you just do this? I'm Fuck. saying stop complaining. It's just a job and they're very well Look, paid. What I'm saying is, I'm not one for complaining about about the job it sucks and you bitch. oh shit that's why he complains all the time about the job oh all his facebook posts and shit dude. you are coming at him i don't yeah, think no, i was just complaining about facebook. i would just complain about the patron all the fucking that's, time that's uh, the yes, patron yes, i don't yes. read facebook i'm not complaining about the well, job you're also a door guy too yeah i was also a fucking that's door guy. fucked i've been spit on three times shown a gun once and what'd you do ball. what'd you do Said, where's your ID? I'm kidding. Yeah, fuck off. Told him, <laughs> you told me wasn't WB Mason. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, Not Shane you or Young Nietzsche. Yeah. It looks like I Nietzsche. I tried, dude. I've been full over the fucking looks problem. Good. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't coming at you. I, 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 I don't it think was you an, were It was an accidental OL. Oh, well. The door guy, though. That's True. a difference. It was an door guy, yeah. I'll say. Because you had to deal with them head on. Being a fucking IDs, all that shit. That's very true. I would drive me I was a door guy once. I was case. Girls do it. Girls are waitresses. Yeah, I did. Do it. Girls can do it. It's easy. I was a door guy. 
I was a door guy at Westchester University, Ryan's Pub. Yeah, but I, you're big. I let every <laughs> single person in. <laughs> yes. I didn't ID once. See, that's that, great. <laughs> see, that's great. I never stopped one person that's your, from entering. That's your fucking thing. But you're a big dude that if you said like, hey, do this, they would fucking do it. One thing that here's here's a fuck no. Here's a, <laughs> Everybody just pushes you to the side. No, it's a <laughs> fundamental fact. Smash. No drunk you person. You can't get in. They're like, the fuck out yeah, dude, No drunk person is ever taking any, any shit they ever hold your head? Oh, dude. Yeah, like, yeah, swing. Dude. Let me tell you something. There is nothing more humbling than trying to get in a fight with somebody and they just put their hand on your oh. dude you your dick goes yeah, but you're inside tough, your body you're yeah. a tough guy I'll, I'll you're a little wolverine i'll eat punches to get yeah. to where i need For to be sure. and you're usually blacked out <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i you don't typically care. had a hell of a chin on you yeah. while you're out oh, there yeah. oh yeah i've been punched in the face many times because that's <laughs> by reality you too. have to do that to get to matt's somebody. about to get you if you keep no, chirping, I would never, at, him. Dude. I would chirping never. at him oh dude i, I love it He's i the back neck i love it dude i feel no, dude, I, you can't you destabilize. I was working my fields all day. I have my land out behind me. I have forty square feet. I have forty square feet of dirt. I disturbed my soil. I was pulling worms out. I discovered a concrete pad. Candy land over here. What are like, you nah, doing? You got to aerate the soil. My soil was like. Hey, fucking, are you wearing a white suit? <laughs> fucking this dude whoa dude i've never this is might be the most heated episode we've ever had you fucked it's coming in just i'm not true look, look it is my fault it is my fault what is your fault dude don't say sorry, no you're now. fine yeah don't say sorry it's because i'm double down it's I'm, well it's double down now to say sorry. double down you said you what know? you said. Was that this song? You said what you no, said. No, that was not that. Okay. <laughs> Damn. You didn't, you yeah. would never, he would never. Because I thought about I thought about slipping a lyric in. I was like, nah, is that okay? no, I think I'm like, give it away. Well, no, this, give it away. You literally know what that fucking song is. I won't. No, it's, dude, it's, 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 I, take it to I the actually grave. feel like shit. I don't think we're going to say anything. Dude, I feel like shit. I'm not telling them. They'll tell us. No way. They'll tweet it. They will. There was a restaurant. Remember the restaurant in Philly that paid like, um, <laughs> You're still going back. No, 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 no. It's, it's a good thing. They gave benefits <laughs> yeah. to the waitress. See, that's what happened. Well, don't happened a lot of corporate place? restaurants do that? They're, like uh, Iron Hills and that do. And now, Plus because Iron everything has so, been so <laughs> devastated, <laughs> they gave benefits to the wait staff and went out of business. <laughs> and fucked them. <laughs> yeah, that makes Me sense. and Spud painted the ceiling. Nice. Sick. Oh, man. I was actually excited for them to do that, and then it unfortunately went out of business. <laughs> And the mm. waitresses are back to the streets just for tips. <laughs> only fans. Yeah, only fans, dude. Yeah, all, the so anti, all the anti-fi waitresses are only fans also. Uh, or they love waiters. thigh tattoos. They love being riddled True. in tattoos. I mean, I, I like that. Yeah. It's not going to be cool You've admired in some five or six years. Your day? They're going to look oh, yeah. foolish. Dude, they're they're, they're going to look like buffoons. They give birth. I don't the think, baby I don't comes know about out and cries. They're like, yeah, I'm scared. She's a tattoos. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Always have been. The tats? You like tatted oh, women. Oh, love it. Love it. Yeah, What's you the love sickest tat you've ever seen on a babe? What's the sickest best tat? tat? Yeah. Uh, this one chick had, and it, like, <clears throat> it was a it was a bunch of snakes that went up her legs up to her tight. pussy, which were fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was tight. A bunch of snakes? Yeah, yeah. Like, there was like three or four. And then there was another chick that I was really into. I had snakes on her ass. I had a big snake thing for a little bit, mm. which was... Snakes on the ass. I can snakes on the ass are dope. I'm How many sick tramp and tired stamps? of these motherfucking snakes. <laughs> yeah, dude. All these motherfucking, motherfucking asses, asses. <laughs> dude. <laughs> How many tramp stamps did you say you've glazed? <laughs> So many, dude. Really? So many. Once tramp I, stamps are once hot. Once I dude. fucking... Tramp stamps are hot. Dude, I fucking came that. on a... <laughs> chick had a huge Starry Night tramp stamp. The oh. entire portrait. And God I fucking damn, jizzed dude. on that. That was a tramp stamp? It was huge. What a fucking asshole. Was huge. she in the industry? Nope. Mm. <laughs> nope. She will be. No. She is now. <laughs> no, no. She, 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 she will not be. She Wait sealed her fate. Hell. Nah, man. Uh, uh, but yeah. I love the industry. I... I worked in it, dude. I was in the industry. You barely, you dabbled. You barely in it. were yeah. in there. You really you your your toe. Where'd you work longer? You construction or the industry? Sure. I, I, yeah. The job. Matt. I was I, building things, dude. <laughs> How much were you building? <laughs> I was building things. Were you building a lot? I was taking them down. How much? How I was much? wiring ceilings, dude. How much? What I do is important. I build things. So I'm wait, like, what, <laughs> what the people do in the industry isn't important? Is that what you're saying? No. Is that what you're it's getting? Servile. No. It's servile. Microwaves can do what they do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, th this. That's the, you might, you're behold, your replacement. <laughs> TGI Fridays be like, oh, excuse me, lady, I don't want to hear you complaining. Dude, do you remember that <laughs> place, California <laughs> Sam's? I know, I, I have nothing against Do you remember it. that place? Yeah, what was that, man? I have nothing against I really don't. I, I don't think you did. Remember that California Sam's? This was years no. ago. They had phones at each of their booths. You just call in. Yeah. And it was like a big deal at the time. Now yeah. I think of it, it's like they were trying to wipe 
wait staff way I before mean, this sick argument. Of, you have to fire if you're running a restaurant. I'm gonna give you from the inside scoop from a restaurant tourist perspective. You gotta, <laughs> you're supposed to fire your entire wait staff every like. You gotta do a purge because they all start fucking stealing and they shit. Start unionizing you. and stealing. You have to, you have to purge well, them every six months. You gotta wipe them all. I don't out know if that's necessary. You gotta wipe out the proles. I don't Dude, know. I'm telling that's you, they'll start, they'll start giving stuff away. One of the bartenders, like, yo, come on in. I'll that's one thieves. They're thieves. First off, first off, the giving stuff away the is plebeians. how you build. The thieves. Giving stuff away is how you build a clientele. That's how you build a clientele and you get regulars that are good. Whoa. You don't understand how this game works, man. You're out of your element. That turns into giving it to all you your buddies. No, no, no. You're, 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 you're out of your element. We took the sleeves off and this is just chaos. The sleeves are off. The sleeves are off. Now dudes are just wiling out. It's a hot one, dude. From a restaurant tour's perspective. Who do you think is the bigger restaurant tour? Me. My brother owned a taco shop. Damn. I was next to the restaurant tour, and I'd be like, I would see. Wait, what have you? What have that, you? No, I, would see, I can't. I can't. I would see from things from you the macro. You can't respond. I can't. You have no comebacks to the taco I'm, shop. I've never. I've never. Yeah, I know it's pretty. You want weird. me to give you a couple ones? <laughs> <laughs> what I'm. What I'm saying is, I've. I've helped open. It's like I sailed a ship. Many bars. <laughs> it was the Titanic. It was a hell of a sailor. <laughs> yeah, didn't, wait, you fucked it up. Don't worry about. It. No, he didn't. No one fucked it up. Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, geez, dude, that was fucked up. To All right, say. sorry. No, it was just the, it was the economy, dude. Yeah, the economy. No, it was the the staff was just got too expensive, and he had to close it down. No, he sold it. He sold it to the dudes that work for him. Well, that's yeah. I mean, yeah, it still thrives. It's, wow. it's good, it's still alive. But it's not dead. What I'm trying to say is, when you get the macro picture, you see you see the bickering, you see the fight, you just go, you know what? It's a clean house. Cut them loose. You get a new squad. Yeah, you're you get, a capitalist. You get a new crop. You're a tycoon. Yeah, you go. That's, that's, and you're they start, that's wildly unethical. They, they get toxic. They start getting like they start getting binds and fighting. I'm telling Once you. Once they get no, a little well, first older. Off, the binding and the fight, the infighting is terrible. That's you're yeah. you're always going to deal with that no matter who the fuck. Oh, dude, trust, especially when you own it, dude. You are hiring Headache, sluts dude. that love coke and and dudes that love to prey on them. Exactly. <laughs> you're you're Nailed gonna it. you're gonna have a toxic element no matter what you do. That's why you gotta just whoo, clean. But yeah, that doesn't always help because then you're bringing in a new crop of. Of, of yeah, but then give then it buys you, you like one two or three one. years. Yeah, you have that buffer months. I don't know. Yeah, you feed, you feed one shit. drugs, and you're like, hey, you like these? Keep yeah. them coming. You keep a loyal one, and you go. Give then me they the start down in the water, showing up a, a couple, little late. Here's fucking two hundred bucks. Give me the inside I, scoop. I don't, I mean, I'm gonna fucking clean see, it. <laughs> everything everything you're saying doesn't really apply to me because I don't do any drugs and I never show up late. True that. So I never all the things that you all these elements you're talking about. You've never showed up late. Never. I'm always on time or early at every fucking job. Sober? I've never was short. I, let's put it this way. <laughs> <laughs> let's put it this way. Ha! Let's, put it this way. let's put it this way. There is not one job I've ever done in this world where I haven't had a few in the chamber. That's oh my god! That's you, the, that's the most. That's like I, I the, like. That's that, the, that, I like. That is. It's funny it though because that's the drunkest dude thing. Be like, I'm always on time. <laughs> I'm yeah, always on time. He's hammered. Like I'm never late. <laughs> I'm always on time. I'm never late, and I do my job accordingly. If I fuck up, I fuck up, and I own it. But yes. if you dude, people, change is fine. If you think for one second I'm not going to come to that job with a little sauce on the fucking brain, you're goddamn dumb. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. <laughs> That's fucking impossible. <laughs> You're goddamn dumb. You're what do you think about this? Beats your way in. hilarious. Nah, wait. No, pick your side, dude. Oh, no. I already know who he fucking supports. You don't like waiters and waitresses? No, 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 no. <laughs> I've heard Seriously. some of the shit come out of your mouth, Sid. I No, really? I agree on both sides of it. Waiters There's are very racist, like, too. People saying, like, my job is entirely too hard. It's like, well, is it? I don't think it's that hard. But I do agree with Shane or with certain parts. You're straddling the line. I am. With it. Tito. Because I worked in it. <laughs> I worked in the industry for a little, but then I, you know, teetotalers don't drink. I think. Yeah, I just I'm really my idiot. biggest issue with this whole thing <laughs> is like people calling it the industry. I could be I wrong. Fucking too. Hate I hate that. Exactly right. I despise I people you. calling it the industry. Just say restaurants or bars. I, I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't know I why. I think of the industry. I think of like humongous. Yeah, plants you think of the industry. And, and believe gears, me, I don't know how that got steam. adopted. There are two things in this yeah. fucking in in the bar industry that I never knew why they got adopted. One, calling it the industry, and two, why Fernet is so fucking popular. It sucks. What's Fernet? It's dumb, is what it is. What is it? It's like the the shift shot that everyone does every now and again. It's like fucking. Uh, it's well, a nice industry. The industry is nice. There's camaraderie. Yeah, I like the industry. There's, I like there's it. certain people great, in certain places. Some I'm always going to overturn. Yeah, some guys don't like it. No, I'm saying it's fine. There's some no, guys no think complaint. Better than everybody there. I don't think I'm better than them. You, th you don't think you're better than waiters and waitresses? No, man. I don't know about that. I think we you all have unlimited all. human it sure potential. Sure, sounded like you felt like. Yeah, that. You I say don't complain. We all have unlimited potential, dude. I don't snuff any of them from doing their thing. Just it, you know, 
making 600 bucks a night. You're fucking around. You're not you always going to last. 600 bucks yeah, a night. I, where do you go in 600? Yeah, Lou Miziano always would come Lou in. Lou worked in LA at a five star restaurant. No, no, no. He was in Philadelphia. He was here. also at a five star restaurant. Talking about make 400. Oh, I made only made 500. Oh, so you got a bit of the jealous bug. Yeah, it's not that, jealous. That's what that seems I would like. hear. I would hear the money and go. That sounds like decent money. But yeah, I don't think I've Lou ever complained either. Yeah, yeah, Lou never complained. Like, he was too <laughs> yacked up to complain. <laughs> he, was, he never complained. <laughs> uh, you know, Lou was going a mile a minute like a fucking meteorite going into some chick's ass. He was fucking yeah, losing. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, Look, asses. I'm not mad. All Indeed, I'm saying, yeah. I've heard, I've heard a lot what? of complaining coming no, from restaurant know. people, and I, I hear the, I like, how much you make? I go, it's not bad bucks there, brother. I mean, it's just also, you got to again. Yeah. You got to take into consideration how much is your job that you that the job that you perceive, and how much other shit you got to deal with. It. And you th- you got to take in mind that Matt's I'm just, a humble blue collar guy. So true. if you're talking to him about this type of big bucks, he doesn't want to hear any belly. And here's the other thing too: how much do restaurants pay their staff an hour? How much do they pay them an hour? Nothing, uh-huh. right? Yep. What's wages they have? Like three twenty five or it, something. When I first, well, now it's it's up now because of the pandemic. They're trying to get people to come back. Yeah, yeah. no one's all the waiters. Oh yeah, yeah. bandaged yeah. shit. So that's yeah. that's the thing, and it was also because the clientele got exponentially worse. Everyone's a fucking cocksucker now. Mm. Everyone's a In real. The, pe- uh, the people who come to the fucking yeah, bars, they're fuck terrible. Dude. They're fucking terrible people. What do they do? They're just what complain. You want to talk about complaining? Everyone fucking complains. Shut the fuck so up and the eat. The waiters and waitresses and the customers are like cats and dogs. Yeah. Dude. Oh yeah, dude. It's 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 a it's bad. It's, it's a great. Bad I ran into it. I didn't even. I ran into that buzz saw in Richmond, dude. <laughs> I had no idea <laughs> what was fighting with that. I just dude. told him I was on Molly fifteen times, and I, they got annoyed. <laughs> well, yeah, that'll happen. No, they should have been, been, been friendly. I mean, being sweet. Friendly. Friendly. being a dick or loud. I was not being a dick. Okay. I was definitely then, not being then, loud. Then there's no reason but to get mad about that. I don't think they were mad. Who knows? He the guy was a very good sport about it. Yeah. After. He just wasn't on Molly too. He just yeah. didn't care. Don't get me wrong. That's why. That's I think why that's why what I was heard about. Yeah, I don't he know. He didn't care, and I was like, you "Well, that's wrong care. of him. Yeah. That's wrong of him. You should care." If somebody comes up to me and is like, "Yo, I'm if I'm barkeep, shit on if I'm barkeep, I'm like, "What you doing, brother? Let's yeah. talk about it." Yeah, you would have shaman down. Oh man, daytime. You, me barkeep? No, you think that? Yeah, oh, you would never that, do that. I'd be a daytime barkeep. I'd be a daytime barkeep. Yeah, and then you'd be pissed off when because you can't give me a rag. Matt, yeah. you can't control the people who come in. That's all. Yeah, what well, I'd fucking no, have to you wouldn't. Yeah. Be Whites fired. only. <laughs> no sports jerseys. Yeah, no t-shirts. That go, no white t-shirts. No flat brim hats yes. at all. Oh fuck. Yeah, you you can't control the like the bitches that come in for a brunch, or you can't control the people yeah. who come in for like yeah. that are just terrible. That's you true. Can't I don't it. want to. And you'd think you'd be cool with it, and you dude, would I've be been, for like maybe a industry. month. I've been in the industry, dude. He's been in the industry. When someone when someone would go fucking yeah, low, dude, I were... go high in the industry. Dude. No, you, no, you wouldn't. <laughs> How and long have we been talking I'm about just having a good I don't, 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 don't want to talk about this anymore. We're at 42 minutes? 56. Okay. Oh, shite. The timing's off. <laughs> okay. If you were part of the industry, you would have been. He knew exactly yeah. how long this shift has been. <laughs> yep. I'm ready to clock out. Yeah, I'm just fucking around. I don't I don't think you really hate it. Easier, if you had to guess, who do you think is more mad or apologetic right now? Yeah, Shayner. You think he's mad and apologetic? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I think he regrets how this I'm more, apo- I'm more apologetic. I, I think do. You, sh- you, uh, you owe him an apology. I think you. <laughs> I don't think you owe me any. And I do regret how I. You better go over I think that. No, no it's good. I feel bad about it. I you think, shouldn't, dude. Hey, he attacked you indirectly. He didn't attack. attacked your people. Look, it, it was an indirect assault on you. Because <laughs> I forgot, while he was talking, I forgot how many times you've complained on Facebook about people coming in. So I had no, I didn't even think about it until. I didn't think about that at all. He, he, I know he didn't think about but, it, but it was. There was can a, we agree? Guys, go ahead. Fine we moderate this thing for a mm-hmm. second. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why don't you guys shake on it? Who's got strong? Damn, you guys are both strong. Damn. <laughs> Who's stronger? Who do you think stronger? <laughs> I don't know. Shader. No, no, definitely Shane. I never, I would never say I'm stronger than anybody. No, I Dude. honestly almost passed out in my backyard today. <laughs> I was like, how did I used to fucking do this? I was tilling up soil, and I was like, I checked my heart rate on my watch. I was like, I'm up to 138. I better take out to one side for a little. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was steaming, but um. Yeah, dude, it's all the the one time I genuinely was like, "What the fuck?" There was a comedian way back when he became, I think, uh, went the actor route. Um, he was also a bit of an entrepreneur, but he was. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> he, he came. He made a Facebook post. And he was like, "I've been a waiter out here in L.A. and I can't find any comfortable shoes. Some of my shifts go up to six hours, and my feet are killing me." And I was like, "I remember being like, shut up, pussy." <laughs> <laughs> He got all That's pissed funny. off. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, I think I do. He was an entrepreneur, dude. He had a whole he had a product line he came out with. 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Who? Yeah, I'll tell you guys. Wow. I don't want to put the old boy on blast. <laughs> but yeah, he would he would like be like, I've been on my feet for six hours at work today. And it's yeah. like, I was like, typical work shift, eight hours, bro. Stop crying. <laughs> <They grow up. laughs> oh. That's it. Does come from your family? <laughs> yeah, we're you've just got gonna... nothing but assholes about like, <laughs> oh, yeah, what? You tired? You sick? <laughs> oh, you you don't want to work today? That's like the ultimate flex in the McCusker family. He's like, I was just doing this. Well, I mean, it's not dude. It's, I grew up with when people. My dad would always be like, forty hours just to keep the lights on, dude. It's part time. <laughs> well, yeah. my mom again, like I could never bitch about work. My mom would be like, "Are you complaining?" She worked third shift at a geriatric home. Like, and it was oh, the grossest literally fucking, the graveyard the, shift. she yeah. was like this is the grossest thing i've ever done and she's like that's yeah, when they all that's lose their minds yeah, and they're like hey, dude, it is, crap it is time, dude. Yeah. i don't even think they have an attack i think they just go Ugh. dude she yeah, would come home true. and she would tell like in the middle of, like Fuck, she would cook yeah. dinner and we'd be eating and she'd be like this fucking lady just like the amount of shit that was on oh. the walls you're like this soup's good. Yeah. yeah like, just hosing down like dude, old asses. Just the amount. <laughs> dude, God. like I'm telling you, man, the gray genitals wow. she saw were fucking disgusting. I think you're, you're only supposed to see, you only have enough like brain chemicals to see like your parents super aged and naked once. You're supposed to, you know, your parents are getting older. You're supposed to sponge bathe them a couple of times. You can't be seeing like hundreds of no. naked old people. I don't know. It fuck, must fuck you up. It's like being a butcher. Yeah. I mean, not supposed to, and a lot of people die. The, just the amount of death. We don't get attached. Happened. I would keep it oh, icy. No, I keep it icy as hell. Was there. She was like Leon the professional, dude. She's yeah. Just like coming out of the fucking. No women. No don't kids. get close to me. Yeah. Just old asses. But yeah, I, I couldn't complain about work to her. And Drill. I never did. Dude, you usually I'm, just I'm complain about around. the people that come to your door. Yeah, when it's, you're just, doing it's the door just the right. people that come. There. I'm That's disappointed it. in you, man. For what? These guys have been such good friends to us. I was and we wanted around. to bring, because you fucked it. It's a very good, funny podcast. Oh, thank you. And. We wanted to bring them in, celebrate Chainer's sobriety. I am. And you come in here and attack him and treat him <laughs> like a jerk. Jeez. What's, got, what's got into you? Tell me, dude. Yesterday, uh, we should have these guys. I said, hell yes, be all. Yes. I was pumped. I was like, I'll yeah, pump I got on, some pumped beef on you, with Shane. Shane. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, I, I had no idea. It was you were a crying in the tub. Did you look up for <laughs> your fucking piece of shit, Shane? I have no man. problem with Shaner. I can't believe you hate Shane. Love Shaner, dude. I'm happy for him. I'm pumped. I just, dude, the industry gets me. Dude, I'm telling you, when you're 126 feet up in the air, dude, burning the metal. You know, you read a tweet, some guy's like, oh, so. I mean, I, so if I if we got a hold of Billy, would he say you were a big demo guy? Yeah, man. All right, I have no idea. Dude, I'm, I'm the heights guy. All right, I'm, I'm not. My dad's, they would send me up. I'm a high guy, bro. All right. Oh, you already chop out a fucking, uh, go in the elevator, shoot? I'll stand in there, dude, strap me up. I'm yeah. fucking, I'm high guy, bro. Oh, well, no, see, I'm like, Mission Impossible at the job site. I would do reckless shit, too. I know I you mean, would. I don't have any problem with I that. I don't put it past you. That's the that's the bread and butter. I, I don't know why Shane turned this into a me, into a me versus you thing. Dude. I, I did this? <laughs> Matt, accept some personal responsibility. Brian, mm. what are you talking about? Yeah, six. What's up, dude? Final word. Yeah, I'm waiting for this to... Uh, you have eight minutes. It's done. No, be easier. Totally made Present up. Us stoked something. on each other. Bring Let's us talk something. about the thing with you and Shane going on, that dynamic between you guys on the road. Oh, yeah. Good, good dynamic. Good. Good dynamic. <laughs> yeah. Better, better than O'Connor. O'Connor's getting fucking snipped. Dude. <sighs> really? He's a fucking negative Nancy on the road, oh, dude. Man. How was really? he in Richmond? It was... He was great. But oh. he was also... Richmond did kind of suck. So we... Oh. I'm also a negative Nancy. Yeah. Yeah, the last it. thing I needed, I need a solid rock like True. the bees, dude. Absolutely. Yeah. The bees buzzing around. Yeah. I'll Absolutely. be buzzing. No emotion. You want to do, <laughs> do the Pittsburgh Improv? No emotion. Yeah. I got actually a couple of requests about that. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. They, did, they asked me yesterday and they were like, who's open for you? I was like, Brian Six. They were like, can we get his, or they asked something. Yeah. They're like, is it definitely him? I was like, look, whoever's opening for me, we'll just call them Brian Six if they need that That's fucking sick. Name. They don't but get yes. the bees though. I lost my bees on Friday. That was tough. They were announcing my name for some reason. They were like, "Please welcome your feature and your feature act all the way from Philadelphia, Brian Beezer Six. Like I was some fucking hell yeah, wrestler dude. in the fucking eighties. <laughs> yeah, but uh, then on like Friday after the second show, when I told you I didn't do great, they were like Brian Six. Yeah, <laughs> took the yeah. they took the bees away. They, dude, they lost they took his your bees. Title I redeemed away, it. I redeemed it. Uh, that is. If you want to see me and BJ, that's July 29th, 30th, and 31st at Hell the yeah, Pittsburgh dude. Improv. So yeah. We'll get I got a couple uh, DMs about going up there. I haven't been up there in a while. I'm pumped. Pittsburgh's nice, huh? I, Pittsburgh's yeah. great. I'm not yeah. a fan of Pittsburgh. I, I've never, Why not? I was there one time on a, a dreary day. It's a dreary city. It is dreary. It's a dreary oft, city. Oft dreary. It is. Is this person who loves dreary. industry, you hate Pittsburgh? <laughs> you fucking what? Yeah. 
You hate the steel. A lot of hard work, though. A lot of hard work there. I'm just making content, dude. I'm creating tension. A lot of hard work Oh, the steel work? The steel plants? I kind of love I kind of love (laughs) this. Those steel... You can tell the people who live there were steel... Like, dude, the women there are fucking huge. Bulky. (laughs) (laughs) I was in Pittsburgh. Everyone's huge. Really? Women are all stripper build. they all, they all wear Palomalu jerseys. <laughs> yeah. Everybody in this city Palomalu. is wearing yeah, a Steelers dude. jersey. They're yeah. jacked, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I was seeing. I was admiring the women. I was at a wedding one time, long time ago, admiring the women there. I'm like, you guys are some bucks and broads. Mm-hmm. You're like yes. just Viking scoping them. Dude. You're like, look at these fucking women. <laughs> I was just get, giving them a little like <laughs> check of yeah. the sap stains. Like. So, Bees, did you? What did you do in Cleveland? Did you have fun? Yeah, it was good. What have you been up to at home? Yeah, what's up? Nothing. This None. is it. All right. What do you do during the day to occupy yourself? I'm playing Give a lot daily of hockey right now in the NHL. I'm yes. in a tough season. I just got traded to Pittsburgh, which is a fucking piece of shit because I hate the Penguins. <laughs> yeah. So they don't like me. I do nothing for the team. Every move, because you get to choose your move, for, you know, and yeah, it like goes yeah, against. NHL. I go against the team every time. Yes. I have promises I do not follow <laughs> through on. They want two goals at me. I give them nothing. Yeah, that yes. game's weird. You were like playing it. I was watching. You have to talk to the coach every three minutes, yeah, which dude, is he hates so me. funny. What? Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, bring them. Like a storyline. They it's bring like them up. You give the coach yeah. attitude. Oh yeah, yeah. You All can, day. You can sass nice. coach. Yeah, because nice. it's either like team response or star response. They, they don't even need a team response from me in Pittsburgh. <laughs> Thank you, bro. You should be wearing this. No, no, no. no. Yeah, let me see you with those on and the tank. And now let's see if Shannon wants to talk shit. Say what you want. Although this is the most salt life you've looked. I look yeah, significantly I, I less even, salt life. I can't even do anything. <laughs> Fuck, you do look salt life. I got a red neck. Dude, I'm not wearing sleeves for the rest of summer, right, man? I can't wear, dude. I can hardly wear a shirt, dude. This is the first time I've ever worn sleeveless shirt. And I see that. I think it's illegal. <laughs> I, see that, I see that there. <laughs> yes. Look at this redneck rainbow, dude. Fuck. Dude, that's, that's fucking nice. nasty. Dude, I, I told dude, you I'm about this. You, nothing but no sleeves all that, summer. That factory I worked at. Remember that, that was, was a big. Issue. There was a big obese guy that had. <laughs> I told you this. He no. had fucking. So there's a locker room because we worked in a factory. Yeah. <laughs> it was an ice cream factory. It was a factory, <laughs> and uh, this big Did you fat ever guy. Think about just falling in. See Into the, the goop, yeah, just like a whole yeah, like a gust, <laughs> like a gust of <laughs> Joker, yeah. Yeah. fat Joker, <laughs> like a Terminator, just like a <laughs> <laughs> It's like the Terminator's uh, egg. Yeah. It's funny. He's got a waffle cone at the end. <laughs> I tried to, I tried to remember what it was, the, what he did when he was going down. I literally, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. I was like, did he, so did he do that? Yeah, dude. He didn't uh, know what to do. He's like yeah, walking. Like, oh, <laughs> Rock all uh, that boy. His lips coming through the thing. Like. <laughs> but there was a big fat guy, blind big fat guy. Perfect. Ooh. And he, we all had to wear jumpsuits. Sick. And when he was in the locker room, we would unzip his, and he had a perfect uh, <laughs> overalls tan. What? Ooh. Suspenders, not overalls. Oh. Suspenders. So this obese dude was just outside up in the hills <laughs> in, sus- in just suspenders <laughs> all the time. That's awesome. It was crazy. Man, that guy rules. Couldn't yeah. believe he was outside getting. Just suspenders, huge, dude. I'm talking like almost 400, probably like somewhere between three fifty. Well, you, you gotta, well, you just, gotta rock suspenders. And he, these, all these dudes lived up in the hills Damn. in the Appalachians. That's so awesome. this guy was just a 400 pounder outside wearing suspenders. How up in the, so, it'd be so, so scary. How did he get so small? Probably the ice cream factory. I was about to say, yeah. Probably munching the screen. That's somebody stealing, dude. <laughs> That's stealing. Yeah, that was the guy. I, that was the guy I filmed uh, taking shit on my camera phone. And then uh, when I came home, I showed my sisters, and my mom got a hold of it and cried. What? Yeah, Why? My you mom filmed saw, a blind man taking a I filmed a blind, obese man taking a shit. <laughs> Why did your mom cry about that? Because she was unhappy that that's what her son, her, her uh, baby, baby boy, was up to. Yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah. Filming Look, guys crap. dick in there? No, he was 400 pounds. <laughs> yeah, he it was an aerial shot. <laughs> Maybe it was defense. <laughs> oh, were you the oh, dude? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I mean, if, oh. yeah, well, going under would be crazy. And he was like an old, well, how would he know? He was an old dog. Sure, dude, he had no idea. He could, I think he heard some noise and he was like, Oh, oh dude, dude, that's gotta be. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he probably got so large. Yeah. People, when they, if you know a blind man's in the stall, you can peep at will. So he probably grew that fat to cover his penis True. so he didn't get fucking. I don't know. <laughs> That was his intention. Like, I gotta hide my dick. Who's over there? And he was like, "Fuck this, dude." There's yeah. so many people trying to film me. I the you know, blind fat guy is wild. Blind fat guy is the move. Actually, mo- blind people should be fat. Yeah, why not? I think. Yeah. Also, especially if your senses increase, how delicious it? treats must oh. be. Mm-hmm. If I was blind, well, I mean, I can see, and I'm pretty fat. <laughs> if I was blind, I'd like be fat. I'd be a unit. Oof. Yeah. yeah, you're not fat. You're not, and like, you're not like missing out on anything. You're yeah. fucking blind, dude. Just die when you're thirty. Yeah, 
You know, get your treats. Nah, in. dude, when you're Just blind, eat as many treats as you play can. Play the piano. Die. Play the piano. Learn the dude. piano. Mm-hmm. Ray Charles did it right. He was doing like heroin and shit. Oh yeah. Blind yeah. heroin must be crazy. Dude. Oh man. Could you imagine tripping? While blind, I just talked about this with someone. That's fucking Did wild. You? Maybe on the podcast. There's, I was, I watched Ray, and they hand him his newborn like while he's on heroin. Yeah, yeah. and it was just making me laugh that he's blind and on heroin and getting handed a baby. He must have been like, oh my <laughs> god, dude, this is fucking crazy. He's just admitting to things. Yeah, like, fucking oh, waste. shit, dude. <laughs> what the, oh, the kid. Yeah, like, crazy. Take yeah. this baby away. Yeah. Like, dude, this is too much. This is too much. He puts oh, the baby man. in his mouth a little bit. He's like, oh, no. I'm yeah, walking. being blind is nuts, dude. Being blind would suck. Especially since birth. My cousin's like, blind. Yeah, yeah, but Ray Charles blind? lost his sight. He what? was born with sight. Yeah, Ray Charles oh, was a young boy. Still. Yeah, but I'm, yeah, but what do you think's worse? Never seeing never. nothing? Or well, that's seeing it? I don't know. Depends on what you see first. That's a, also if you're tripping. What the fuck are you seeing? You don't yeah, even know what it is. That's you actually, don't even know what colors are. That's true. Fair point. That I think they weird. do know what colors. Are. No, they don't. Oh yeah, I mean, I how they would don't. you do they that? They don't. Yeah. So I'll be like, oh man. Yeah, you're like sitting next Whoa. to them, like I'm seeing all these reds that's and also, blues. They're like, I don't even know what red and blue. Someone is. Someone brought up another thing that I like blew my mind because I was like, oh fuck, I never even thought about that. So someone was somebody been, at the, in the industry. No. Yes. <laughs> it was someone, it's if, if you've been deaf from birth, what does your inner monologue sound like? No, it's <laughs> me whispering. Sounds like one of those uh, tubes. Whispering, dude. Those tubes you used to get as a kid. I was like, no, <laughs> dude. <laughs> what are those called? I don't know. I know they had rain tubes. Do you remember those rain tubes? Yeah, the rain ones were big. Yeah, yeah. Give me a good rain tube. I remember the cow one. The cow yeah. one was good. The goat one was good. The chicken one was good. That was all good stuff. So but... if you're blind and you're tripping, you just see shapes. But you, how do you know what shapes are? You feel them. So you just kind of uh, you put yeah your, you can figure that put out a 3d yeah model that's true I yeah know. yeah like if somebody cut out a triangle of like wood you like felt that yeah, you would just like, see oh, like see that. you just you, go through square you know, someone just slides like a dick shape yeah. thing <laughs> the the like, oh, come <laughs> on man not again There's so many yeah. octagons <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> another one stop <laughs> <laughs> it's just like It'd be funny. Uh, it's like, what's that? It's like, think about it, dude. Wow. Giving them putting a dildo on the end of the walking stick would be so, be so funny. Yeah. <laughs> True, just yeah. yeah. People should be gagging blinds. Man. I don't know why they're getting Sometimes. more gags on the blinds. Yeah, dude. Nice. Everyone's like laughing. They're like, must be killing it today. Yeah, just having a good day. <laughs> we used to do that in blind high school. Blind people it should be funny. For sure, they should. I feel like they might have a good. Sense they're so you. serious they have all to, the time, man. dude. True. Oh, I'm sick of them being so mm. serious. Dude. Uh, just have fun. Put on crazy serious. glasses. Put on funny glasses. Like, <laughs> oh, 1999. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like Groucho Marx. Yeah, <laughs> just have fun, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm sick of them having to up their shit. Dress like a maniac. Yeah. Oh yeah, you have dude. To. And yeah. then just walk around. That'd be tight. Yeah. Find. Yeah. I'm always surprised. They're pretty adept, and they're walking around like getting around town. I'm always dude, like, dude, I see blind people crazy. in New York. I'm like, what are you doing here? Move, yeah, you're gonna true. get fucking drilled. Yeah, that'd be something. terrifying. True. It's scary walking in New York with eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's shit flying everywhere. It stinks. I don't know. They they fucking matrix out. I've seen people. Yeah, you people think they can feel it? That they just know when. I bet they're hanging on, dude. I bet they're like, we've got to be close to sight true. technology. Oh yeah, Dude, it's kind of crazy know, though. Think we're that pretty they're cool. not. We gotta be close. There, yeah. There's definitely. That, I've always said too. If I was ever in like a really bad accident, mm. and they were like, "You're no bad. one would preserve you." <laughs> no, we would kill you. I, no, I, I would I'd say if you go, break a leg, I'm putting you down. I preserve you. I'm bro. fucking go full <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 just a, I don't care. So just like I'm on the track, what they're gonna put out some blinds and a guy with a shotgun. Use an No cigar on What I'm saying is. If you, I've said like, if I get really fucked up and they're like, oh, he's on life support, I'd be like, donate me to any experimental science you have. Like just, if they're like, even like, oh, we're experimenting with taking somebody's head off and putting it on a robot body. Yeah. Like, fucking do it now. Oh, you know what? I saw this. Sick. There was a Good Instagram point. post. I think it's Zulu Fox or something. That's nice. what it's called. But it's, uh, I was, it was like a jet plane where the Air Force was working on uh, ejecting people. Yeah. And the planes were going too fast. So they, it was tough to figure out how to get the thing to work so they were like testing it out on bears yes they're just oh, flying a yes. jet up and hitting eject on bears they give them parachutes yeah t- most of them survived a couple died a couple Dude, of boys how sick would it see a bear just come <laughs> just like, down like, the about the like, bear just like, i'm there. inverted it's yeah. like just Whoa. sitting in a chair it's not bear and then all he's like, he's like what the fuck is that? like flying and then all of a sudden Somebody, it's like some pilot just died <laughs> just, just pilot just died because the roof didn't open yeah that was top gun oh no yeah 
Yeah. But then there was what was funny about it was in the <laughs> paragraph on the Instagram post, it was like they were taking guys out of uh like dudes that were unemployed were like signing up for it. Oh yeah. And they're like test the oh. testies, test test the ejection. That would be some embarrassing. Just some drunk guy, just some shaner. Dude, <laughs> Dude so, so, um, I had I had heard in the beginning of like uh I guess it was in Russia, it wasn't in America. But in Russia when they were testing they were like using like borderline invalids to go up in the rockets to so, like, hey, we're uh, not gonna yeah. use monkeys. We're gonna use people because yeah. we can't design it for like the people going up the rockets aren't going to be the size of chimps true yeah we got to use people so they were just like hey you want to make some extra rubes you're get the up, fuck yeah. up here. Yeah. and they would just get but they would be like all right oh fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, no. stonewashed denim they would, Leon also, flying there the was air. also a couple that they would tell yeah. apparently and again i don't know it's like an urban legend because they're still orbiting the planet but <laughs> what are the retards from russia <laughs> dude they would tell them like look you're gonna go up there you probably will not come uss yeah. ussrs <laughs> that you have the yeah. R's retarded. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, good. Right, it's finally yeah. reached uh, 95 degrees in this room. Hell yeah, let's oh, break yeah. it up. Uh, break. Yeah, we'll take a break. Hour, get... What are we at? Hour and 12? <laughs> All right, great. Now, please join us on the Patreon. Yeah, man. Thank you.